Hey, this is Matt from InvestiQuant. Today is Wednesday, July 5, 2023. Yesterday was a market holiday for Independence Day here in the U.S. And today is the day after, which is a, a day after holiday that we can check within the calendar section of the Discover Library. So we're going to take a look at what's happened following the uh, 4th of July. Let me go ahead and get it set up using all four instruments. Our setup's based upon entering long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now for this setup, we're just gonna to go to the calendar library and on the act of today section, I'm gonna to go to holidays and click on day after Independence Day. We have a holiday section here that includes all of the uh, market holidays with the day before and day after uh, for testing. All right, let's click on view results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time when it is the day after Independence Day. Historically, we've got 20 samples to look at here dating back to 2003. Win rates on these coming in at 50% for the S&P, uh, close above the opening print. For the NASDAQ, it's up to 70%. For the Dow, 60%. For the Russell, 50%. If we take a look at the average moves, you'll see the average move to the upside, the average win here is larger than the average move to the downside. Uh, that's also the case here in the NASDAQ, in the Dow, and then the Russell is the only one that has a larger average move to the downside. So historically speaking, three out of the four have larger average moves to the upside, and all four of them have win rates that are neutral to favored with Dow and uh, NASDAQ being the strongest of the group. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We will see you next time.